My name is Hendrik Leber. I founded the company Arcatis 1994 together with my wife. Now in the larger team, I'm responsible for the investment decisions of the company. Arcatis Datini Value Flex Fund. What does the special name of the fund stand for? Now, who is Dattini? It sounds Italian. It is an Italian name, Mr. Dattini. Francesco Di Marco Dattini, who lived in Prato in the 14th century, is the inspiring person behind the fund. He was an entrepreneur at the time, very courageous, very ambitious, very successful, and he documented everything that he did. And I always wanted to do something in his tradition, far-looking, courageous, looking for high performances. And that's why I named the fund Arcatis Dattini Value Flex Fund. With the Arcatis Dattini Value Flex Fund, you only manage opportunities and not risks. What does that mean? Most of the funds in the market are based on risk control. There's always a strong department within a bank or a fund company that says, uh, limit your risks. But risks are opportunities. Within each risk, there's an upside and a downside, and I want to grab the upside. That's why I see the world not as a world full of risks, but as a world full of opportunities. Now, to do this, you have to go into positions which cannot be predicted with certainty. You go into uncertainty, but in this uncertainty of opportunities, more than 50% have a high gain in value, then the fund profits immensely. And that's why some of the investments that we did maybe eight years ago, for example, in NVIDIA or in Bitcoin, have paid off very handsomely for the fund. Not all of them, some of them fail, but we usually start with a small entry position and then watch how the company develops over time. What distinguishes the fund from other funds in the same category? What are its strengths? In the Anglo-Saxon world, we have hedge funds which might be comparable. In the regulated world of Europe, I don't see anything that is comparable in style. The fund has a very high performance over a long period of time, not over a one or two year time period, but over stretches of three to five years, and is pretty much ahead of the pack in almost all categories of balanced funds in Europe. 